Good morning. This is Akashwani Kohima. The morning news read by Kahur Jisate. Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh has said that India needs stronger armed forces with modern equipment to become a developed nation by 2047. He said Defence Accounts Department will play a crucial role in realizing this vision of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Singh said this while launching several digital initiatives of Defence Accounts Department during its 276th annual day celebrations in New Delhi yesterday. The initiatives include an integrated defence finance dashboard Saranj. Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh has highlighted the need to breach science and technology with Indian languages. He was speaking at the Technology and Bharatiya Bhasha Summit in New Delhi yesterday. Dr. Singh said that non-English speakers are often held back by language barriers in academia. He remarked that the British era education policy kept English as the gateway to success. Dr. Singh urged for a practical solution that isn't just propaganda and sermonizing local language, but using proper incentives for growth. He added that students have long been prisoners of aspirations and that the change in policy will help them make better career choices. President Drupadi Murmu and Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar and Prime Minister Narendra Modi have greeted the nation on Gandhi Jayanti, the 154th birth anniversary of the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. In a message, she said Mahatma Gandhi's ideals of truth and non-violence paved a new way for the world. She said Gandhi also took up the cause of cleanliness, women empowerment, self-reliance and farmers' rights and fought against untouchability, social discrimination and illiteracy. She said Mahatma Gandhi inspired and led a huge movement for freedom that changed the course of history and got us independence. In his message, Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar said Mahatma Gandhi's principles of truth and non-violence were the guiding light in India's struggle for independence against colonial rule. He said Bapu's relentless pursuit of freedom and equality remains a beacon not just for India, but for the global community. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the occasion of Mahatma Gandhi today called for fulfilling the dreams of Mahatma Gandhi. Taking to microblogging site X, Modi said he bowed to Mahatma Gandhi on the special occasion. Naglin Deputy Chief Minister Y. Paton on the occasion of Gandhi Jayanti has called for honouring and upholding Mahatma Gandhi's principles in our daily lives. Paton said, we celebrate the life and legacy of Mahatma Gandhi, an embodiment of courage, resilience and non-violence. Paton said, Gandhi's teachings remind us that change begins with oneself and that peaceful resistance can overcome the greatest of challenges. Nagaland Tug of War team has secured the second position in the man and mix category 580kg at the 18th National Federation Tug of War National Championship 2023 held at Tawang Arunachal Pradesh. In the final, Nagaland faced a tough opponent, Kerala, ultimately claiming the silver medal. NTWA President Dr. Vekosuaro attributed this success to the combined efforts of pullers, officials, well-wishers and the support from the people of Nagaland. A total of 36 senior men and mixed teams and 18 senior Federation Cup teams participated in the national championship. India's sportspersons shined on day 8 of Asian Games in Hangzhou, China, taking the overall medal tally to 53. The medal tally includes 13 gold, 21 silver and 19 bronze. Akashvani Sports Desk reports it was raining medals for India on day 8 of Asian Games in Hangzhou. Overall, 15 medals were added including 3 gold, 7 silver and 5 bronze. The day's biggest achievement was in athletics when Avinash Mukun Sebel created an Asian Games record in 3,000 meter stipple chase with a timing of 8 minutes 19.5 seconds, bringing home the coveted gold medal. In short put, Tajinder Pal Singh Tur defended his goal with a throw of 20.36 meters in men's final. 
The third goal of the day was won in shooting with a team of Kanan Darius Chennai and Prithviraj Tondaiman topping the men's trap event. Other disciplines in which India won medals included racing, hurdle race, long jump, haptat lawn and discus throw, men's individual trap, women's individual golf event, boxing and badminton. With that, we come to the end of morning news. Have a nice day.